All right, in this topic, we're going to be calculating missing angles from special triangles. All right, a quick summary of the previous three topics. The first bullet point, all triangles, okay? This applies to all triangles. The sum of the interior angles is 180 degrees. The sum is 180. That is an, a very, very important rule. All right, next bullet point right angle triangles. So right triangles, they have an angle that is 90 degrees. So if you know that one angle is 90 degrees, you know that the, the sum of the other two angles must also be 90 degrees, right? Because the total is 180. You have one angle, which is 90 degrees, okay? And then you're left over with 90 degrees. That must be the sum of the two other angles. An isosceles triangle, isosceles triangles, they have two equal sides and two equal angles. Its equal sides and angles are opposite each other, okay? So in an isosceles triangle, I'll draw a very simple one here, the picture, okay? These sides are equal and they're opposite each other. And these angles are equal and they're opposite each other. They're facing each other. They're opposite. Great. Moving on. Equal lateral triangles. That's the last special triangle. That is a triangle where all three sides are the same length. They are all three sides are equal. Okay. For equal lateral triangles, it has three equal sides and it has three equal angles. All of the angles equals 60 degrees because if you have 60 degrees for one angle, 60 degrees for the second, 60 degrees for the third, you have a total of 180, right? All angles are exactly equal and they're all equal to 60 degrees and an equilateral triangle.